first after you have already downloaded the Dehancer app. What you're going to want to do is click into it and then you're going to download all of the film profiles just like you would in the desktop version as well. It's the same process. So next you have to grant Dehancer access to your photos so that it can access your photos within your phone gallery so you can edit straight from your phone using photos you already have or taken within your phone gallery. So I selected allow access to all photos. So then you can choose a photo to edit. So you can click where it says open photo or video and then you can then open a photo or video that you already have in your gallery on your phone or click on the photo itself because it will also show you some photos within your gallery as well as you can see right here. So I just tapped on a photo I already had in my gallery. Now it's time to choose a preset or a film profile. Then from there, I'm going to go through the different film profiles and I'm going to select one and then I'm going to apply a film profile, kind of like a preset over my photo. So basically the film profiles are presets that you can put on top of your already edited photo if you've already edited your photo prior to using Dehancer, which I already have. Now it's time to actually edit. So I'm going to show you how to edit. It's super simple and you basically have total free range as to how you want to edit your photo in Dehancer. There's really no right or wrong way. I am in the print tab right now and you can change the profile. You can adjust the exposure, the tonal contrast, the saturation. I'm obviously not going to mess with saturation. I added some film grain and another really cool feature I like about the ISO Dehancer app is it also has a tab in, that's called film damage which if anyone has ever looked at uh, physical film a, a film photograph you might notice it has you know some of those uh, like little white specs on the photograph like when you're looking at an old photo like maybe of your parents or somebody from in your family from back in the day it just has that really cool nostalgic look and you can achieve that same look within the app using film damage you can sort of add those specs or little hairs to your image so i did that to this black and white photo i, I turned it black and white with dehancer and then i added some film grain and i added also some film damage you, it sounds funny your film damage but it really looks really cool and it will give it more of that nostalgic film look you're basically faking the film look and it's just really cool so i really enjoyed it was a very simple edit i didn't do anything crazy with this particular photo I just had fun with it and it's full creative freedom and you can just really uh, edit the way you want. It's totally based on your preference, your personal preference. If you all would like a full in-depth tutorial on how to use the ISO Dehancer app on the phone, I can definitely make another video where I go through each and every single tab and feature and explaining what it is and what it means. Just let me know down in the comments. I always like to listen to my subscribers because after all, I am making these videos for you all. You guys are my audience and I want to serve my audience and provide value. So definitely let me know down in the comments if that would be something that would interest you. So then once you finish editing your photo, you can go ahead and export. You can either decide to save to your gallery, which will save to your phone gallery or to share. If you want to share it on social media or whatever platform you share your photos, I'm going to show you guys the results of several different photos that I've edited on the Dehancer ISO app and starting in three, two, one.
So here are a few things, a few key features to note about the Dehancer ISO app. It's, this is both a photo and video editor within the app. So you can edit both photos and videos to look like film. The video editor features additional tools such as GateWeave and Film Breath. It's compatible both with iPhone and iPad as outlined earlier. And the Dehancer app isn't just an ordinary app with filters like every other sort of uh, photo editing app. <laughs> just slap on a filters no De the dehancer app is so much better than those average other apps that just literally you just slap on a filters there is years of scientific research behind their technology so it is definitely seen through the software itself like if you have used or downloaded the desktop version of dehancer and are trying out the ISO app, you will see that both are very high, high quality and a ton of research has been done to be able to achieve that film-like look, to be able to replicate or emulate those film profiles is truly amazing to achieve that look. Like this has never been done before. So as far as the cost, to be able to try out, you can export you can export 10 images for free, but if you would like to export more than 10 images, that obviously requires a paid subscription costing $15 on a month to month basis, or you could do $8.33 per month when purchasing an annual $100 subscription. So I feel like it's easier just to do the annual subscription for $100. So that means after every or each year, you're going to be charged $100 for the app. Keep this in mind when committing to a subscription so that you know that you make sure you have that that money in your account because it will be pulled since it's sort of like an automatic bill or fee that's going to be a, an automatic subscription that will be pulled from your account every month or every year depending on which subscription you choose. So right now I'm on the one year subscription so far and I'm loving it and I cannot wait to see what else I can create with the Dehancer app. All in all, my review of the Dehancer ISO app is not much different from the desktop uh, version. I love it even more probably than the desktop version only because of its convenience, being able to edit literally anywhere. Those are all big deals for me because I'm a busy mom of two, so I'm constantly on the go. So being able to edit anywhere is very convenient. Uh, the simplicity of it. I also really, really love the film damage effect. That is really cool. Been loving that. So I cannot say enough great things about this app and about the software in, in, in its totality. So I would definitely give the Dehancer ISO app five out of five stars. It is really fantastic. Go ahead and try it out yourself. Download it now in the Apple App Store. And definitely you can try out the 10 photos for free to try it out, see if you like it. And then if you love it, go ahead and pay for it and pick a subscription that best suits you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today's video. If you would like to also see a more in-depth video of the desktop version of Dehancer, definitely go back and check that my previous video on that. It is fully in-depth on the desktop version. 